Due to any number of factors, none the least budget cuts, the sport of track and field has become something that we have a tendency to pay attention to only in an Olympic year. But for 20 straight years now, a very dedicated coach in Union City has made sure his athletes get coaching from some of the best in the sport on a continual basis. When it comes to Bay Area High School track and field, the program at James Logan in Union City is without equal. Coach Lee Webb has built a team that routinely wins its league championship and has even taken on and defeated the top powers in Southern California. But there's something else Webb has been doing for the past 20 years, just as remarkable and maybe even more difficult to pull off. Put your hand back. Okay, you guys come over here well, so you can see what I'm doing. They, got, they do different kinds. Like. Well, this is just, this is just, a, well, I just say it like this. When I ran on the relay team, mm -hmm. we ran 38 one nine. That was the world record. Okay, so that's okay, huh? <laughs> Olympians Eddie Hart and Marilyn King just scratched the surface of the track and field elite who will be at Logan High next Saturday. In 1968, Dick Fosbury revolutionized the high jump. Bob Beeman set a long jump record that exceeded the standard equipment used for measurement and stood for decades. Wyoming Atias won gold in the 100 meters in two separate Olympics. And in one of the most recognized and symbolic moments in sports history, John Carlos stood on the victory stand with Tommy Smith and made a gesture that helped shape our society for future generations. Those are just some of the more than 50 Olympians who will conduct clinics and share their stories for a full day. Relax. Are you ready? Don't put your hand back because I ain't said stick yet. Stick. You're giving these kids an opportunity stick. not to sit in the stadium and, and have these Olympians sit on the stand somewhere, but to just to touch them and to feel them, be right a part of them, have these Olympians in. And, and, and also tell them, you know, when I, when I was your age, I was just like you. I came from the same place as you. If you can force your arms to keep the rhythm, your legs have to stay in the same rhythm. So you literally overpower the fatigue. I think it's really about the thinking skills, that people discover that there are certain ways of thinking uh, that really assist you in getting where you want to go. And then there's another kind of thinking that's going to take you down the wrong road. So this puts you on the right road and surrounds you with people who uh, are going somewhere that's, that's useful and helpful and exciting. Lessons in sports have often been used as metaphors for life. That's especially true for Hart, who in 1972 missed his chance to compete for a gold medal in the 100 meters because of that now infamous failure by his coach to give Hart and another runner the proper time for their race. It was one of the most difficult experiences that I ever went through in my entire life. But as a result of that, it made me a much, much better person. Most of my education when it comes to life came from track and field. The caliber of the Olympians who will appear for the 21st straight year next Saturday is one of the best kept secrets in Bay Area sports. It may not stay that way. Any interested athlete can come to James Logan High at nine in the morning for a full day that includes instruction, lunch, and an evening ceremony.